Hey everyone, it's me Vivian and I'm back with another video. If you guys are new here, I hope you are having a great day wherever you are. I am a data scientist based in Sydney, Australia and I post content on data science, career and also lifestyle. If that's up your alley, then please like and subscribe, it would really mean a lot. Let's get straight into today's video. So you guys might all know that data science has gotten extremely popular over the last five years, somehow evolving into the hottest job of the 21st century. This has now led to uni and colleges coming out with a whole bunch of different master's degrees specializing in data science, which can range from, you know, $25,000 to almost $100,000. Now the million dollar question is, is this degree really worth it? And is it really worth the expensive price tag? Let's find out. So to be very honest, this is also something that I have considered a lot myself over the past five years working in data science. However, having worked in this industry for this amount of time and also been on the other side of interviewing candidates, I think I finally reached an answer. To me, I would say no, a master's in data science is definitely not worth it. So of course, this is just based on my own personal experience and my observations working in the Australian market. I know that many different countries might have different requirements and different job descriptions, so please do your research and make the best decision for yourself. I'm just going to share the pros and cons from my own perspective, hoping that it can help a couple of you out there. So a master's in data science is often one to two years full time, but you can also elect to do this across three to four years part time alongside your full time work. Like all university courses, these used to be held on campus before COVID-19 hit. And this allows you to build relationships with other like-minded people as well as network with your professors much easier when compared to today's new reality of a virtual environment. So now you might be thinking, well, what exactly are the pros to doing a master's if you can't even meet friends when doing your degree? That's a really good question. So I think that we are actually navigating a job market that is moving away from the traditional, you know, having a postgrad degree into a more skill set based approach. So yes, having a master's will probably make you more employable as, you know, recruiters are still used to looking for that postgrad or PhD qualification on your resume. Yes, it might make you stand out and it might also increase your starting salary for any kind of job. I've personally worked in teams before where they offer you a starting salary based on your highest level of education achieved. So for example, if you had a bachelor's degree, your starting salary would be $80,000. If you had a master's, it would be $85,000. And if you had a PhD, it might be $90,000. So another pro of a master's degree is that these are really structured and they often follow a rigorous curriculum with exams and tutorials that will help you, you know, get the best out of your studies. I know that there's a vast number of resources out there where you can self-study. However, sometimes this paradox of choice comes in and you have no idea where to start. What do I learn first? Which website do I use? Enrolling in a master's degree will take this indecision away as they feed you information and resources in a very, very structured manner. All you have to do is digest this information and then pick up the concepts. Then you're done. And to me, the last pro of doing your master's in data science is the network that you build and the consequent opportunities that may arise from this. So now I know this might be trickier in today's world of remote online learning, but it still remains really relevant. The access to the alumni network and career opportunities are also a very valuable integral part of any uni or college experience. So please don't underestimate the power of networking. You'd be surprised who you can meet along the way and who is happy to give you a helping hand. Now let's move on to the cons or the negative side of a master's degree. Now the main con to me is that master's degrees only teach a very small portion of what a real data science job entails. You might be learning complex statistical theory and having to prove convergence theorems whilst working with almost perfectly curated data sets at uni, which is something that you never get in the real world. Also, there are just so many other vital skills which are not taught in any master's degree, such as, you know, domain knowledge, communication, and how to influence senior stakeholders. Check out my video on the top five things that all data scientists need to know to succeed in their career. I'm going to put up in the cards and also link it down in my description box. Another con that I've noticed when speaking with some of my friends who are currently enrolled in master's degrees is that the content is often outdated due to the dynamic nature of the industry and the course material not being reviewed year on year. Sometimes lectures get really, really theoretical, drilling down into proof heavy exercises rather than showing a practical application of the concept. 
I've heard that some unis are actually still teaching with SPSS, SAS, MATLAB, Fortran, which have all actually been replaced in industry with open source languages such as R and Python. And to top it all off, master's degrees are generally really expensive, with the average one in Australia costing somewhere between fifty to seventy thousand dollars AUD. Sometimes you have to put your career on hold if you want to return to uni to pursue your studies, which means that you can't earn a salary alongside your studies. Um, all of this just for your employer who may or may not pay you a tad higher when you start off your career. To me, I don't know if that's worth the time and money invested into this degree. So to wrap it up, my honest opinion is that it's probably not worth doing a master's in data science as you can study a much more relevant and practical version online at a fraction of the cost and also at your own pace. Um, I've also got a video up on my channel on how to break into data science for a beginner so make sure you check that out if you're also interested. Again, this is just my personal opinion so please do your own research before making a decision. Um, I just wanted to share you know, my experience, maybe it's going to help some of you guys out there. If you guys like this video then please like and subscribe, it really means a lot to me and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!